फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस सेवन माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस सेवन एंड वन इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस सेवन आर हेल्ड फिक्स एट द थ्री कॉर्नर्स ऑफ एन इक्वलेटर ट्राइंगल सो लेट्स ड्रॉ अ ट्राइंगल हियर फर्स्ट ओके सो दिस इज अवर ट्राइंगल ओके एंड इन दिस ट्राइंगल ओके इक्वलेटर ट्राइंगल लेट्स अज्यूम वन चार्ज हियर इज फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन अनदर चार्ज इज माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन एंड हियर वन इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन एंड वट्स इक्वलेटर ट्राइंगल साइड साइड फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर फाइन फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स ऑन द चार्ज एट सी ओके सो लेट्स गो इन द सेम ऑर्डर एज दे आर सेंग ए बी ओके एंड सी करेक्ट सो ए बी एंड सी सो एट ए बी इज माइनस या बी इज माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड सी इज दिस वन इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन करेक्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड वॉट फोर्स ना इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग द फोर्स ऑन सी ड्यू टू ए एंड बी बिकॉज दे विल ओनली द टू वन हु विल इन्फ्लुएंस सी राइट सो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड नो सॉरी फोर्स एट सी ड्यू टू ए विल बी अट्रैक्टिव और रिपल्सिव इट विल बी रिपल्सिव राइट बिकॉज द चार्ज एट ए इज पॉजिटिव एंड चार्ज एट सी इज again positive so they will repel each other along which direction in this direction okay let me redraw this to make it a little straight so it will be along the line joining the a and c so this will be force on c due to a okay now secondly the force on c due to b attractive or repulsive it will be attractive why attractive because one is positive one is negative so they will be attracted along the line joining the two so this will be force on c due to b correct and if this is an equilateral triangle what will be this angle this angle will be 120 degree right okay yeah. why 120 because this is 60 and that will be linear pair correct so let's write now what is the force on c due to a so force on c due to a that will be equals to k i'm just putting here k charge on c that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 7 charge on a 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 Whole divided by the separation square. What's the separation? Five centimeters. So five into ten to the power minus two whole square. I hope this is clear. This is FC. Now what is FCB? So force on C due to B that will be equals to K. I'm I'll put the value of K into the charge on C which is one into ten to the power minus seven. the charge on b which is minus i am not taking the negative sign again i am repeating why i am not taking the negative sign because we have already considered it in the arrows right so the into 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 okay this is our q1 q2 upon r square r is again 5 cm so 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square and what's the theta here 120 degree if two vectors force is a vector quantity yes so how do we add them can we add them directly no we have to use resultant formula what is our resultant of two vectors the resultant of two vectors is given by this relation a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of angle theta correct and cos 120 is minus half in case if you don't know so let's substitute before we substitute let's simplify this okay because k is common here here okay so i am just taking here uh, let's rewrite this expression because it will be lengthy let me write it on the little left hand side okay so here the net force on c will be equal to root under fca which is k and let's simplify it here a little bit 5 into 1 is 5 and 10 to the power minus 14 so 5 into 10 to the power minus 14 correct whole divided by 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 correct so 1 by 5 k into 1 by 5 into 10 to the power uh, minus 4 goes up plus 4 minus 10 i hope this is clear first parameter square let's move ahead second factor let's simplify it further so this will become k into this there is a k also here huh? okay so k here into 1 into 2.5 that's 2.5 upon 5 5 is a 25, okay, and 10 to the power you will see minus 14 and this 4 minus 10, same you will get. So let's put it here plus k into 2.5 upon 25, okay, and into power 10 to the power minus 10 whole square, right? I hope this is clear. Plus 
okay now this plus 2ab this plus 2 will cancel out and will become minus why minus it will become because uh, cos 120 degree cos 120 degree is what minus half so that will cancel out this two let me repeat here again cos theta so cos 120 will be minus half that minus half and this two will cancel and make it minus a into b so a is what let's put it again so minus a is uh, k by k into 1 by 5 into 10 to the power minus 10 and multiplied with how much k into 2.5 by 25 into 10 to the power minus 10 correct okay great let's take now common out okay so if i take common out from here k is here k square k square is over here and k square is over here because this k and this k right so we can take k square common from all the factor i am just keeping it inside the root only k square from all of them and 10 to the power minus 10 whole square is also common so 10 to the power minus 10 whole square these two things are common in all of them okay let's see what we left with here we left with 1 by 5 whole square here we left with plus 2.5 upon 25 whole square minus here k and minus this they will be squared and this we left with 1 by 5 from here and into this will be 2.5 upon 25 this we left with these two we can take it out of the root so k square will become k which is 9 into 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power minus 10 whole square will come out of the root and become 10 to the power minus 10 right and here we left with root under 1 by this 1 by 25 plus now if you remove this decimal you will get 0 here down and you left with 1 by 10 so here it will be 1 by 100 minus this will be removed here and you left with 10 here so minus 1 by 50 I hope this is clear okay so this is the thing we left in root let's make it more simplified 9 into 10 to the power minus 1 root under this let's make it 100 25 fours are 1 52 is 5 minus 2 3 by 100 so this will be 9 into 10 to the power minus 1 into root 3 by 10 why because uh, 3 by 100 is root 3 by 10 this will become 9 root 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 and what we are calculating fourths. so this is Newton I hope this is clear so the correct answer for this is 9 root 3 into 10 to the power minus 